Now we come to the 13th chapter of the book of Joshua. I read this verse last time. And let me read it again, the first verse of Joshua 13. Now Joshua was old and stricken in years, and the Lord said unto him, Thou art old and stricken in years, and there remaineth yet very much land to be possessed. Tremendous truth in that verse, by the way. To begin with, we're just at the 13th chapter of the book of Joshua, and there are 24 chapters And here he is already, an old man, and he's already stricken in years. And he's not going to be able to lead the children of Israel much longer. In fact, the wars are over. Joshua led them in, and he was the leader that God used to take the land. But the interesting thing is here that I didn't realize so much time had elapsed. He was 80 years old when God called him. Now he's about 120 years old. And that means that he's had 40 years, and my, how time got by, much faster than it did when they were in the wilderness. You see, in the wilderness, it was long drawn out. And I'm of the opinion that many of you that listen just thought we never would get through that dry and desolate, and as Moses called it, a terrible wilderness. And I think Moses knew a great deal about that wilderness. He not only spent 40 years in it, but the 40 years before he'd been out in the desert of Midian on the backside of the desert. He knew a great deal about it. He called it a terrible wilderness. But now they're in the land of milk and honey, and they're laying hold of these great possessions. And uh, time really passes fast. And one of the things that causes time to hang heavy on the hands of so many folk is that if they just only be doing something for God, only be living a life for Him, my high time passes then. And then when you begin to get older, I've noticed how time passes. I recall my last pastorate. I was busy. I began as really a young man. And 21 years went by before I knew it. They just slipped by. And all of a sudden, I discover I'm an old man <laughs> and that I now am ready to retire myself. My, how time got by. They've been thrilling years, and very frankly, the most thrilling part of my ministry has taken place since I've retired in this ministry of radio and in having conferences. I've seen more results. I've seen more of the hand of God. I'm more conscious of His leading than any time in my life. I think Joshua would have said that. Now, Joshua was old and stricken in years. And the Lord said unto him, Thou art old and stricken in years. The Lord told him he was old. And there remaineth yet very much land to be possessed. Now, this is the important part of it. I thought they were doing very well. They went into the land. We saw drove a wedge right into the center of the land. Then they went to the south, conquered that area, moved to the north. They've conquered that area. And I thought, my, they've done a fine job. But you notice, there's very much land yet to be possessed. After doing a tremendous job, may I say, friends, that's going to be true of you and me. It's been true of every servant of God. He never did all that he'd like to do. You remember what Paul said in Philippians. He says in Philippians, the third chapter, verse 12, "...not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect." And that means full-grown, reaching the age of maturation, full maturation. Paul could say, "...I have not yet attained, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended." of Christ Jesus. Paul said, he called me to do a certain thing, and I want to do that. God said to Joshua, the whole land is there. Every place the sole of your foot shall tread upon, I've given you that. But they didn't walk on all of it. And friends, you and I never will in this life be able to possess all of our spiritual possessions. Now, I meet a few saints today, and thank the Lord, they're just a few like this. They give me the impression they have arrived. 
that there's nothing more for them to know. There's nothing more for them to do. They're very much satisfied with their lives, and they have no desire to press on to the mark of the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Now, the children of Israel, even after all of this period of 40 years conquering that land, it still can be said there's very much land to be possessed. And you and I will never reach the place where we have fully arrived. That is the wonder, I think, and the glory of going to heaven someday, because there you and I are going to be able to reach our goal. There's where we really are going to reach the place where we should be today. Paul never did in this life, and if Paul never did, I'm confident I never